Last time on She Rules the Waves, we went knee deep into good old Tommaso the engine. We serviced the raw water pump, changed the oil, noticed it was still grey, thought about that for a while, and then started the install of the pre glow and start assist buttons. Let's keep it oily, shall we? <laughs> Hi, my name is Linus Jackson and I'm a sailor, musician and father of two. I bought my boat Sedna in Italy and have spent the last two seasons sailing her to her new home in the south of Sweden. It's been an incredible journey, but now it's time to roll up the sleeves and get her ready for the adventures to come. It is a beautiful day in the marina, uh, about 15 degrees Celsius and uh, the sun is shining. Good day for boat work. It is time to put another shore. Uh, this one it is the wind generator. I'm going to test it. It's supposed to be 3000 watts, but I don't believe that. It was really cheap, so. I might as well test it and see if it's worth my time and money to build some kind of stand for it on the boat permanently. So I mounted the temporary stand that was welded for me on a pillar on the dock. Then I assembled the turbine itself before mounting it on the top of the stand. Then my parents came for a short visit, so I took a break. And since there was no wind, I jumped to another task. The glue has settled. The nuts on the other side did not fit, so I had to glue it. It's not beautiful, but I'll clean that up later. But so this is the pre glowing, and it's supposed to be lighting like that. And it is. So that's a good sign. Let's hope it starts. Today I am uh, changing the oil uh, for the second and hopefully third time and then I'll be done and the oil filter. And I will also go over some electric stuff but one thing at a time, let's hope the oil is getting warm now. So I have this uh, pipe here that goes down to the bottom of the oil tray so I usually put this one, screw it on there and then we're ready to go. Yeah, so uh, I checked the oil, it's still a little gray, but um, I will do one oil change, make it hot, pump it out, and then change the filter, and then we should hopefully be done. Um, so this is number two of three. Here we go. Okay, it is full or empty. I have to put in some new oil, start the engine, let it go, and then, even though it started raining, I'll have to walk away and empty this at the service station. So the sun went away and it started to rain a little bit. There's no wind, so I can't test the generator, the wind generator, uh, but it's still pretty warm. I have a t-shirt on. Now I'm emptying the oil. Uh, number two of three, hopefully. This next one is gonna be the last one. Well, Obviously, the color of that oil doesn't exactly scream you're done with the service, now does it? 
But I was still in denial and hoped that the water came from the old oil within the system. Okay, time for the third oil change, which should hopefully be the last. And this time I will also change the uh, oil filter. See, it's not gray anymore. It's a good sign. As I said, denial. And so the thing is that the oil is actually not gray. So I don't think I need to change it one more time. Just refill a little more and then I'll be happy. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. So I'm on my way to uh, Lilla Luma, which is uh, kind of a suburb to the village where Osa has her boat uh, that we visited a while back. Well, I'm gonna meet up with Jürgen, uh, the guy I used to call Mr. Diesel, to see if he could possibly uh, renovate or refurbish my uh, extra raw water pump. Um, so that's the plan for now. Mr. Diesel looked at it and told me to order some specific parts, and then he'd guide me to putting it all together. So I moved on to Limham for the next project. All right, so today we actually have more than 20 degrees Celsius in Limham, which is really nice. Um, I was here all day yesterday, uh, changing the oil. I'm still not exactly rid of that water problem so I am uh, replacing it trying it again and we'll see and while I was here yesterday I just started cleaning up this whole solar situation and actually made a diagram of the way I'm thinking of doing it right now but for now just cleaning it up and hopefully later on I will be able to actually move everything in a better uh, place but this is just so you don't you know, trip over any wires or anything like that. Well, I'm definitely not a pro, but these electrical tasks come so natural to me now that it kind of feels like meditation. Although a new tool can still change things. This was a game changer. <clears throat> and after I got all those wires cleaned up, I also connected the wind turbine controller and tried to figure out the app for the shunt that makes me see what actually happens on my phone. But there's still not much wind, so... I guess I'll have to wait some more. And just two days later, the weather was completely different. All right, it's a gray and windy day. Just the other day, there was 20 degrees outside and it was lovely. Now it's like 10 and it's windy and wet. Uh, but I'm still in Sedna trying to figure out some stuff about the oil. Uh, there's still water in there, so it becomes white or gray pretty fast. So I got to figure out some way to make sure that there's no leakage inside the cooling system. I'm also trying to figure out why the windmill is not uh, giving any power. Well, it is giving power, but it's not charging. And right now it's unfortunately, I don't know if you can see it there through, it's not, the wind is coming straight from the wrong direction. So it's really windy, but this one is unfortunately a little bit uh, in the leeway. So it doesn't spin as much as I need it to. Right now it's just giving about three or four volts. So the hunt goes on. And I'm also trying to install these solar panels uh, on top of the spray hood. After that, I decided to stay landlocked for a few days and contemplate my next moves. Good morning, people. It is a uh, nice, sunny but pretty chilly April morning um, so I've been uh, trying to service the engine and uh, the thing is that there's water coming into uh, the engine still into the oil so what I have to do is pretty much uh, take apart the raw water pump once more and see if I made a mistake maybe when I was installing those little uh, gaskets that's supposed to keep the water separated from uh, the cooler side and the oil side. First things first, let's do it all again. The first thing I have to do then, of course, is to turn off the um, raw water inlet. Well, actually, the first thing I have to do is take care of these uh, MC4 connections for the solar panel. I can't have them 
uh, like this when I am trying to figure this out. So uh, let's do that first. Well, this is the true nature of boat work in my experience. You can have as much plans as you want to, but there's always something else popping up that need to get done before you can continue onwards on your foreordained path. So what that means I have to do, of course, is to uh, get the connectors that I bought and I also have to have a crimping tool and a lighter and these crimping connections and of course the MC4 connections. So let's start by taking out the uh, fuse so that the panels don't connect it anymore. And let's hope I do this the right way because sometimes I overthink things. And today is actually um, the day when the summer season officially starts here in the marina, which means um, that all the boats that have winter spots, winter berths, needs to move to their summer berths, so that all the um, boats on, on the hard can come back down into the water. However, for me that's a problem since um, I don't actually have a summer berth yet, so gotta go and ask about that. I'm sure I'll have an answer about the summer berth soon, but for now, I just want to thank you all for being here. It would make me incredibly happy if you'd give this video a thumbs up, give me a shout out in the comment section, or on any of our social media platforms. Every kind of engagement helps us steer through the course of algorithms that we call YouTube. I'd also love it if you'd hop over to Patreon and consider helping us out even more by being a part of the crew. Alright, <clears throat> now let's go back to the pump. Well, that's next week for you. But don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell. And until next time, take care.